the annual cost due to the misuse of alcohol, tobacco, and illicit substances exceeds $700 billion. When the intangible costs associated with individual loss, families, and communities are accounted for, the cost is even greater. It is obvious that addiction is a significant individual and public health concern. Addiction is a complex disorder characterized by significant disruption in both body and brain. Consequently, addiction science must be diverse and include a variety of methods and approaches. Our own research focuses on the neurobehavioral and psychosocial concomitants of substance use and misuse. Our research utilizes a variety of assessments and techniques, including things like clinical research interviews, self-report measures, neuropsychological tests, brain electrophysiology, neuroimaging, and even driving simulation. All of this work is directed to two overarching objectives. The first is to identify the brain circuitry and processes that are most susceptible to alcohol's neurotoxic effects. The second is to identify individual and developmental factors that may serve to modulate risk and resiliency to substance misuse and its consequences. Ultimately, the goal of our research is to impact both prevention and intervention initiatives, thus improving treatment outcomes and preventing substance use disorders across the country. University of Florida is an outstanding place for our research. Because of the university's commitment and the Center for Addiction Research and Education, we have the opportunity to work with exceptional colleagues that cover the full spectrum of addiction science. I'm Sarah Jo Nixon and I'm a part of the UF Research Landscape.